Hi guys, this is Simeon from Swedish Homestead. Today it has been six days since we put the eggs in the hatching machine and it is time for us to see how many eggs are fertilized. Okay, so this process is called candling. We are going to candle these eggs and we'll have a bright light for that. Now you could build this yourself, you can buy them for a lot of money or not a lot but it costs money <laughs> and if you have a lamp like this um, LED lamp that we have, I just put some tape around it so it closes up tightly against the sides of the egg and it's a very very bright lamp and uh, we're going to use that to put the egg on top like I said, it has been six days since we put them in the machine. If you are new to the channel, I know there have been a lot of subscribers the last days. Then check out the video where I put in the eggs in the hatching machine. I'll link it right here. Um, so here's the thing. It has been six days. And this is, I would say, about the earliest you can go with somewhat of a accurate result. Um, if you have darker eggs, like there's some breeds that like chocolate brown dark eggs, uh, you need to wait longer. And um, the brighter the egg, the earlier you can see. So we're gonna give it a shot. I'm gonna do it this way that if there is an egg where I'm not really sure, I'll keep it in the hatching machine. Um, if there's an egg where I definitely know there's no fertilization, we'll take it out and it'll be pig food. And um, I will do another candling um, about a week from now. And then we can tell for sure then the egg is really dark in the middle. But I want to do this to prevent eggs that are not fertilized in this constant, quite humid and warm environment to start rottening. I've actually had that happen before. And it's bad. It's not good. It smells horrible. The egg, egg builds gases. It can actually explode and then you have it everywhere, your whole machine is full of bacteria, it's a really bad thing, so I really recommend um, doing this, and it's, it is very, very exciting to see uh, the life grow in this egg. You will not be able to see it as clearly in um, on camera now and through this lamp, but we will still be able to see if an egg is fertilized or not. Like I said in the previous video, I do not expect a very high fertilization rate here not a very high percentage because some of those eggs a lot of them were shipped and handled through cold warm weather and 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 um, bumpy and everything and I, where I collected my eggs they got a little bit cold as well so we'll have to see um, if you have a 80 percentage fertilization rate that's okay um, I expect lower here so let's see okay I'm gonna put the eggs out of the machine one tray at a time and I'm gonna place them right next to the machine and that is completely fine to do because in nature the chicken gets up sometimes for 10 to 15 minutes sometimes a bit longer to actually um, find some feed and find some water and the eggs cool down during that time and um, so it's completely safe to put them out of the machine for a while and have them stand there. Now some people and some hatching machines do this even automatically that they cool the eggs every day. Now since my machine has a fan and these are chicken eggs I do not have to do that but especially when you have ducks and geese you have to take the eggs out every day let them cool down and even spray some water on them because they need to cool down otherwise they will die and not hatch and not come out of the shell. But um, this is just an explanation, so when we take these eggs out, put them right next to the machine, that is totally fine. We actually once had a power outage while we were gone from home, and the eggs cooled down for six, seven hours. And when I came home, they felt cold to the touch, and I turned it back on. I thought I had lost all the eggs, all the chicks, but they hatched fine. That was very amazing. Nature is amazing. So let's get them out, and then... I have to turn off the light and we'll look at the first batch. I will, I will leave the machine running um, and I want to hurry up because I would like the machine to stay warm. 
I'll turn the turning mechanism off. Okay, so. This is where the chicks go on when they hatch. So a few days before it's over, you actually turn this whole um, turning mechanism off, take the eggs off and let them rest, put them on those trays. I will show that later. Now I will just take out the first batch of eggs here. So the ones that are bad will go on here, they will go to the pigs, the ones that are good I will put back on here and um, yeah I will look through. Now this one is entirely full of eggs that were shipped to me and I'm really curious because this is really important to me that I get at least a few roosters out of the two breeds that I got here just because uh, I need the new blood in, in my breeding cycle. And it would be a bummer if none of these were, would work out, but I doubt it. So I'm going to check on these first. Okay, so I'm going to take the camera here. I'm going to turn off the light now. Just have the light in the machine now. I'm going to turn this lamp on here. And see how well you can see. So let's get the first egg here. Oh, yes. Oh yeah, it's fertilized. Let's turn that light off. Maybe you can see better. I can see it very clearly. There's a dark spot right there. You see it? Sometimes you can see it on the camera. There. That's a dark spot. Right there. And it moves. I even see the arteries. Okay, so beautiful. First egg fertilized. Here you can see it very nice and clear. This egg is fertilized and you see the embryo right there. Beautifully moving around, floating in the egg. Now down there you can see the air bubble. That is where the chicken gets its ox oxygen from. And you can actually tell how well the chick is doing this depending on the size of the air bubble. It changes a bit throughout the hatching process. But it's really important that this is right. So here you see, there it moves around. This egg is fertilized. Next egg. Here you even can see the, the arteries that are building up, blood vessels and everything. Beautiful. There you go. Next egg fertilized. Yep, perfect. Now, this doesn't mean that all the eggs will actually um, hatch. That was also fertilized. This doesn't mean that all the eggs will hatch because some of the embryos they die in later in a later stage. Here you can also see this egg is fertilized. It's interesting to me how some eggs show really well on the camera and some don't. Well here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go through a bunch because I need to do it a little quicker than this with the camera. And um now here you can see an egg that is not fertilized. There's definitely no distinct dark spot. You see a little difference of color shading here, but that's just the yolk. There's definitely no no chicken here. This this egg will go to the pigs. I thought here you could see it really, really nicely. The air bubble, all the blood vessels here, and the embryo in the middle. If I take the egg, you can see how it moves there. See that? Beautiful. 
But I'm very satisfied so far. Um, all these eggs were fertilized. There were two that were not fertilized so far. Okay, so out of the 50 eggs, um, 25 were Le Bleu or Bress, 25 were Bielefelder, um, and three of the Bress were unfertilized, six were for sure not fertilized of the Bielefelder, maybe a whole bunch more, probably about 10 more. So the Bielefelder weren't very well fertilized. That's okay, I just need a few roosters for hatching. Now, let's look at the eggs that I collected that got quite cold and see how they are fertilized. Okay, these are my eggs, let's see. Oh yeah, definitely fertilized. There you can see it, beautiful. Yep. This one I almost put away just now, but then I saw it, you see that's if I'm not sure, I don't want to throw it away in any way. Beautiful, fertilized. And it's funny how you can see some very clearly and some are really hard to see. So I think it's the thickness of the shell, the color of the shell. I have a really surprisingly good uh, rate so far. I haven't actually put a single egg away. Okay, so I am done. I am very, very, very pleased with the fertilization of the eggs. Very, very good results. Especially on mine, the only eggs that didn't have good results were the Bielefelder eggs that I had shipped to me. And, um,. The lady said that before that they had little issues with the fertilizations there so maybe a rooster or something wasn't doing his job <coughs> but I'm very happy we had I believe 137 eggs in there and we sorted out um, 15 eggs so that is a very very good fertilization and now if you would take away the, the ones that are bad I, I think I have about 10 of the shipped Bielefelder eggs that weren't fertilized either. If you take those out of the count completely, then out of 110, we had six eggs that weren't fertilized. That is a very, very, very good um, number. So, yeah, we'll do another candling in about a week. And I'm very excited to have these chicks hatch here um, between Christmas and New Year's. Okay, so I'll have to put this back on to rotate the eggs. Also fill up some more water here now that we're at it. The temperature I've had to adjust a little bit because we have had such crazy fluctuation on the temperature outside. Okay guys, I hope you enjoyed this. Um, to me it's always fascinating and exciting to see new life come into existence and to me, this is just incredible to see this every time. And the law, the law of nature of biogenesis by Louis Pasteur, who discovered this law, that life only comes from life. It's, it's so true, and it's the most amazing thing. Never has anybody observed life coming from non-life. And this is the best proof. Somebody asked in the comments, what was their first? What was, what was, First, the chicken or the egg? Well, the chicken. Because life can only come from life. That's the only thing that has ever been observed. That's the law of nature, the law of biogenesis. So, I hope you enjoyed this video. 
and I'll keep you up to date on this. Subscribe if you haven't done so. Check out our Facebook page. We post live updates there with some pictures and um, you would enjoy this. Thank you and see you in the next video. Bye-bye.